Can you just comment on how you think um, climate art and science can fit together and what some of the benefits or obstacles, problems might be? Yeah, I think the, the obvious thing is if you're really trying to communicate a complex message to people, you actually generally need to touch them in, in here because it's there's so many hard, hard messages in climate science that if you just keep on rounding home the death and destruction, uh, it's very, very challenging for people and they, they, they just emotionally and intellectually switch down and won't listen to the message anymore. Mm. So trying to engage playfully, kind of give people a bit of a vision about what the future could look like is really, really uh, important for engaging people genuinely in action. Yep. And would you have any advice about doing projects like this for us as artists trying to yeah. link uh, art and climate science and things happening in policy and communicating through art projects? I think one of the most important things is to think about what practical outcome you might want, which I know is not normally something we think about in the arts. Um, engaging, as I said, with people's hearts sets a sort of foundational message, but a lot of people are quite aware of climate problems. So the issue, in a way, is saying, how do you translate that into action? You know, telling from a behavior change perspective, which is sort of my, my background, um, the, telling people a clear action that they can do leading to results is going to do it far more than giving somebody a really deep, heartfelt message, but then they don't translate that into action. Great. Thank you. I think the forum's about to start, so. Thank you. That's great. Thanks, Lou. Thank